Hello and welcome to the EGL DLC tournament. Yeah, that's right. Doing a bit of DLC over here. We've got the Revolution map pack going on. And you know what? So far, I've seen a pretty good response from everyone in the community saying how they really, really like the DLC and, you know, potentially we could play it competitively. And I'm actually joined by a good friend of mine. I'm joined by Taylor Noble. How are you doing, Taylor? Yo, man, I'm, it's, I'm really doing good. We're in the semifinals. we got Maxim going against Snake. Uh, really good matchup. Obviously, these teams both know what they're doing. Epsilon is uh, a lot of Team Snake, and the Maxim, I guess, is from... Where are they from? They're from uh, Spain? Yeah, Ma Maxim are from Spain. I'm actually uh, casting over one of our fellow casters from, from Spain, Axel. He's a really, really good friend of mine. Um, I'm interested to see how good at COD he actually is, because I know he's a very good caster. Whether he's going to be very good at COD is going to be a different story. I mean, myself, there's a reason I cast. Let's just leave it at that. Not the best player, but yeah, Axel... And, and that's we're casters for a reason. Exactly that. We are casters for a reason. Whereas Axel, you know, okay. speaking, speaking to him on Skype, he was saying how he's actually a decent player. So he wants me to be watching out for some of his top plays that he's going to be doing. But looking at the snake lineup, we've got Ryder, we've got Jerd, we've got Madcat, and we have Moose. So it is not to be messed with at all. And if you're wondering what the prize is for this evening's tournament, it's going to be four Black Ops 2 season passes. And as well as that, four Turtle Beach 7 series headsets. Such a good headset. Wore it myself over the last EGL. Really, really was very, very comfortable to wear. But the first map we're going to see is going to be hard point on Hydro. Now, if you guys don't know, the map pack is currently free for you guys to test out this weekend. So make sure, you're, make sure you are actually testing it out. You know, give some feedback. You know, how are you finding these DLC maps on a competitive basis? Yeah, I had no idea they were free. That's actually a really good deal. You can't beat free. So I actually, I'm going to have to tweet that out and get some people uh, getting those map packs and just trying them out before the uh, new map packs come out so they can have the opportunity to purchase this one as well. But as we see, it's going to be Maximum taking a uh, little first lead here. 15 to 2 before they rotate. I'm not too familiar with the second hard point is going to be whenever they rotate. Let me see here. Actually, I think it's going to be over here on this right-hand side, correct? Yep, it's Where right Max red turbine. Okay, so there you go. Maxim has already worked it over here. So great stuff by them. They got their early points off the first hard point, rotated over here, and they anchored down. Actually, I've not really seen an anchor position here, and it kind of seems like uh, Team Snake is a bit lost as they did not rotate at all whatsoever. Yeah, Team Snake not rotating at all, losing on a fair few points at the beginning. But as you can see, Ryder and Madcap breaking that hard point so, so quickly, and it's going to be left to Madcap on that hard point, actually using the FAL. And he's managed to come on a four, make that fight. Nope, that was actually just an assist. Has some support there from Team Jerd. But I was actually about to say, obviously the foul being banned in the US. Yeah, yeah the foul is banned in the US. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting to see if that's going to carry through over to Europe. You know, that'd be very interesting to see. Personally, I don't think the foul should have been banned. I think it should have been restricted. But as you know, uh, in these big events, you know, these big, whether it be MLG or EGL events, they don't usually use the updated version of the game. And because of that, it's usually a very overpowered foul that they're using or really overpowered uh, any weapon that they have. But as I'm looking here, we got Moose, or excuse me, Madcap, with a Hellstorm as well as a Lightning Strike. Definitely going to come a big here. As you see, this hard point here is sort of in the middle, which is very nice on his part, as we also have the the uh, middle hard point, which is obviously in the middle as well. So that's definitely going to come in big here. Now the tide have turned here as we see Snake taking over the lead by about 10 points. So great plays by them. Ryder on a five kill streak. Let's switch over to him. He's rocking that M8. Seems to be that anchor position in the middle, but he gets taken out. Switching his gun though right over to the MSMC. Very interesting on his part. Yeah, he's going to throw the trophy system out as well just to see if he can avoid the nades. Not even going to matter. He gets taken down immediately by Reapers. And this Spanish lineup showing them not to be messed with. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with 50% of the Epsilon lineup. And merely it isn't a full Epsilon lineup, but picking up Moose and Ryder, two very, very good players. Not to be messed with at all. Madcat's still on a two-streak. Has that health storm. He's already used his lightning strike, but such a good FAL player. Really is one of the best in Europe right now. He's just going to be taking his time, seeing if he can rack up any more points. Eight seconds before the half point rotates. And if you're wondering where it's going to rotate to, well, just look at that mini map. You see where those That's green right. arms are? That's exactly yeah, where it is. Yeah, see the fight going on for it, and Maximum's going to take it once again. They seem to have those rotations down pat. And what's interesting about them is they swarm that hard point, really wanting to take it over, get their position set. Now, this one only has two choke points, so it's going to be difficult to break unless you can throw those stuns in there and get it. But I see people uh, rocking the flak jacket. It's definitely going to come into play here, but Maximum trying to make a uh, comeback here. Score is 60 to 83. There's going to be three people in here. It's going to be Nvidian, uh, Panzer, as well as Reaper inside this hard point. And uh, 30 seconds remaining for it. Now, I see Snake. Snake is not making a hard push for this hard point. Why do you think that is? I 
I think right now they're just trying to wait so they can actually pincer it correctly. They don't want to rush in and lose players. You see Moose going in, charging by himself, and Panzer's going to say thank you very much, but Ryder, big play from him. He's going to control that help point Madcap with the nade as well. And you can see Snake just waiting the perfect amount of time before they went and they actually breached onto that hard point. And now they're going to have that control. And you can see Maxim, they're just going to have to set up on this central hard point. The six seconds before it's going to go ahead and rotate. And Panzer, he's going to be covering this little ladder area in the center of the map. He also has a Hellstorm missile to his name, so it's going to be interesting to see when he's going to deploy that. But I think it's going to be Madcat dropping his first of all. And I'm just going to have a quick look at our scoreboard as that Hellstorm missile comes down. Madcat currently 18 and 8 with 7 defense. Yeah, he's doing a great job. He's he's really, really been a dominant player, especially in this game. Madcat on a three kill streak. Excellent with that foul. He gets taken out though, unfortunately. But nonetheless, Epsilon Jert is going to be inside there, holding it down, throwing those trophy systems. Now they got about a 40 point lead, so it's definitely going to take advantage. But as we see here, as soon as I say that, Maximum's going to push in there. But before Epsilon takes it back over, as I look through the other players, there's no score streaks on Epsilon, or excuse me, Team Snake, and there's no score streaks for Maximum. So all have been used on that middle hard point, trying to defend them off. Five minutes remaining. Remaining close game so far, it can definitely turn either which way, but so far I'm really seeing an impressive play by Team Snake. Yeah, and I'd just like to point out as well, Panzer has a Hellstorm missile again, he's earned it, he's been playing absolutely amazing for Maxim, currently top fragging his team 12 and 4, but 5 caps and 5 defense, that's going to be the difference for all those score streaks, you can see he's going to be doing a very aggressive push straight towards that next hard point, but it's taken down by Moose, Madcat as well getting a kill on that kill feed. Four minutes, 40 seconds remaining, and it's going to be Team Snake with a very, very fragile lead. Trophy systems and smoke grenades being popped as well. Maxim needs to try and break this hard point, and they need to do it on this push, <laughs> but it's not going to happen. Madcat and Moose picking up kills. Jerd as well. This is just so, so hard for this Spanish lineup to try and break. Man, I'm just so fascinated by Mad Cat's ability to really spam that foul. As I was seeing, he was just spamming through that smoke and was able to get kills. He's about to overlap on his Hellstorm. He needs to use that right now. He's only a sneeze away from another Hellstorm. So is he going to use it? Doesn't look like it, though. But he's been the dominant factor for his team when holding down his hard points. As we looked over our scoreboard, 26 and 10, 5 captures and 14 defends. Those def and now at 15 defends, adding another one. You know, those defends definitely matter when holding down these points. That's why they got such a dominant lead. They're not, he's He's not allowing Team Maximum to come in there and take it over. But as we see here, earns all of his score streaks with that War Machine. So that is definitely going to come into play. And he's just going to spam the heck out of those missiles. I'm very interested to see if any of these players have managed to find some sneaky little line of sights or spots. I mean, I've been playing the Revolution map pack for quite a while since it actually came out. And uh, haven't found any, any sort of sneaky positions for capping hard points or, you know, good line of sight. So I'm interested to see if any of these players have found one of them already. But so far, it doesn't look like it's very sort of level playing field, if you will. Apart from the fact that Team Snake have over a 100-point lead and Mad Cat is currently on a 9, nine. kill streak. He that is, is just going crazy right now. He does go down, but he has a Hellstorm. He has a War Machine as well. He's going to drop that Hellstorm straight down on that hard point. Picks up one. Didn't manage to pick up the one on the left or the right. There are 24 seconds remaining before it is going to rotate. But so far, it's all Team Snake. Yeah, Team Snake really dominating this map here as we see 196 to 90. Maximum needs to step up their game if they're going to want to win. You know, what I find interesting about Team Snake is even though Maximum rotates early and sets up for those hardpoint positions, Snake has no problem running right through them, taking over the hardpoint. And that right there makes all the difference. Mad Cat pulling out his War Machine here as we see he's already spammed a lot of bullets reloading. He only has six rounds left. Now they're going to have to push in here and try to get it. Looks like Maximum's going to take it over, but look at that. Just as soon as I say that, uh, Snake is going to take it over with Ryder and Madcap pushing in there and he's just spamming in there. Gets a War Machine kill but gets taken out from the back with the flank. 222.91, two minutes remaining. Even though there's plenty of time for them to make a comeback, I just don't see it happening. Yeah, it's really, really going to be tough for this Spanish lineup. And if you're wondering how many rounds there are going to be in this series, it's a best of three. We have Hydro Hardpoint, which we're currently playing. This is going to go over to Grind, Search and Destroy, and then Mirage, Capture the Flag. So we're going to try and get as many maps as possible in the map rotation as we get ready for that Grand Final later on in the evening. Right now, I'm on board with Ryder, who's making his way towards the Hardpoint as it stands now, just trying to get those cutoffs. Not going to happen this time. He gets taken down, and Maxim desperately trying to claw their way back into this game. Only nine seconds left before players are going to be rotating back towards that B-Domo Hardpoint. And as you can see, Endian now just waiting to see if anyone's going to challenge him, but you should know no one's going to challenge him when there's only a few seconds left, but he is coming up directly behind someone. He could pick up a few kills here. Sees one, takes him down. That was Jerd looking for someone on the hard point. Where has he gone? He's two to the right-hand side. He's going to get tagged up, but can Maxim get control of the hard point? I think they should be able to. Yes, there we go. Nice play from Maxim. Yeah, big plays by Maxim, as you see, Invinning getting a bit scared there, shooting his own teammate, Hellstrom coming in, not able to take anybody out though, unfortunately, for a team, Snake, 
But Panzer is going to be in there trying to get some points. Only a minute and 20 seconds remaining. They really have to hold down this hard point and the other hard point if they're going to have any chance of winning. Time is clicking down, and Snake knows this. So I believe right now their best strategy is just take over those hard points and just contest. If they're able to do that, they'll take this easily. But just Snake is totally dominated. Ryder was on a three kill streak. It's taken out, though. And right now we've got a major gunfight between Jerd and Nvidian. But Nvidian's going to take it over, but gets taken out as they're going to about to rotate hard point with 10 seconds remaining. Well, it doesn't matter at this point. It's become mathematically impossible for the Spanish lineup to actually try and come back into this game. So Team Snake are going to just try and close it off by the point scores. That hard point does actually rotate. Maxim, they're going to know this. Are they going to try and continue? I, I think they know that's GG. That's, yeah, they're that's not even going to bother. That's so the final score, 250 to 140 in favor of Team Snake. And this Spanish lineup, very, very strong. But you're going to have Jurd there with our final kill cam. Dropping that trophy system out. Oh, how you doing, bro? <laughs> how you doing? He might be 2 3R. I'll shoot you in the face, Panzer. Nice play there from Jurd. As we wait for that scoreboard to come up, you can see Moose 28 and 16, Tencap 6 defense, Madcap 34 and 17. Jurd yeah, played very well as well. In fact, the entire Snake team did. But, you know, Taylor, for you, what has this Spanish team got to do differently if they're going to try and take down this team Snake? I think it just comes down to winning those gunfights. You know, they were rotating really well. They rotated over and was able to take down that position. But as I said before, you know, during the match, Snake just was able to come in there and just win their gunfights and just take them out quite easily, really. You know, especially with Madcat coming in there with that foul, just dominating them. You know, headshots all the way, 17 defends. They just weren't able to break through and not able to win those gunfights. I don't know if that had to do with connection or if that had to do with uh, pure skill, but uh, Snake just had them all the way. And I know you predicted that uh, before we went yeah. live. You know, Snake, obviously, with Epsilon, just tearing it up, as well as TEC Moose. You know him. I'm sure you're very familiar yeah. with him. <laughs> <laughs> Moose is so, just so, so strong at times. He really, really is. And he's one of those players that any of you guys, if you come up against a TEC lineup, you've got to be watching out for because he can just kind of destroy your day. If you're having a good day, you come up against Moose, he can kind of destroy you a little bit. What's his main role? Moose, he, he can do pretty much anything. I mean, okay. predominantly, he's very aggressive with an SMG, but if you go, Moose, pull out an AR for me. He'll pull out an AR. <laughs> He'll slay for days. But, I mean, predominantly, you're going to see Moose with, with that SMG trying to make those plays, which is exactly what he did there. And that was kind of why Snake was so successful there, because not only did they have that slaying power from Mad Cat, but they also had that amazing breaching of hardpoints. You know, they just let Ryder and Moose just right. blitz onto that hardpoint, pick up the kills of the SMG. Meanwhile, Mad Cat was there getting, off, getting those cutoffs and picking up a lot of kills as the